Time now to take a look at what's been happening in the world of sports. Joining us in the studio is our sports editor, Paul Neat. Hello, Paul. Hello there. Let's first start with baseball. MLB is in town because of the historic season, season opener this Wednesday. I understand uh, that a Korean baseball legend will throw a first pitch. Yes, you're quite right. It's uh, Park Chan-ho, who in 1994 became the first South Korean ever to play in MLB. But yes, he'll throw the ceremonial first pitch this Wednesday when his former team, the Los Angeles Dodgers, take on the San Diego Padres at the Gotchok Sky Dome in Seoul. The match will be the first proper MLB game to be played in South Korea. Now, tickets, of course, sold out very quickly, but baseball fans in the country have been able to watch some pre-season friendlies instead. The Dodgers beat the Kiyum Heroes 14-3 on Sunday, but none of those runs were scored by Japanese star Shohei Otani, who was struck out at both of his at-bats. Also on Sunday, the San Diego Padres beat South Korea's national baseball team 1-0. The one run came following a wild pitch, but it was a game that saw Padres star Kim Ha-sung return to his old stomping ground, the Gotrok Sky Dome, as his former team, the Kiyum Heroes, play their home games there. And moving on to badminton, a Korean win at the All England Open. Yes, uh, Iso in Bekhana, they won the women's doubles title. In Birmingham, England on Sunday, E and Bek beat Shiharu Shida and Nami Matsuyama of Japan two sets to one. This was Korea's second win in as many years at the All England Open, which is regarded as the world's oldest and most prestigious badminton competition. Korea won the first set 21-19, but then lost the second 21-11. The win was sealed with a 21-17 win in the final set. The pair lost in the final last year to fellow Koreans Kim Soyoung and Kong Hee Young, and the win was also something of revenge as Yi and Baek lost to Shida and Matsuyama in the French Open quarterfinals just last week. And moving on to uh, football, South Korea's men's team resumes its World Cup qualification this week. It looks like a few of the players are in good form uh, for their clubs. Yes, that's right. Quite a few goals over the weekend as well, uh, including Yi Gang-in, who scored a beautifully struck left-footed curler into the top corner during Paris Saint-Germain's 6-2 away win over Montpellier on Sunday. His goal in the 53rd minute made it 5-2, for what was his fourth in all competitions for the French club. PSG sit top of the table, 12 points clear of Brest. Over in Serbia, Hwang Inbom scored his third goal of the season in Sven Zvezda's 5-0 Superliga win on Sunday over Rajnishki to go four points clear at the top. Hwang got the game's fourth in the 68th minute to make it 4-0, turning home from close range. Meanwhile, Cho Gi Song was also on target for FC Michelin and Yi Jae Song got an assist for Mainz in Germany. This Thursday, all will likely be involved in Korea's World Cup qualifier with Thailand. It's the first match since the Asian Cup and first under caretaker manager Hwang Sun Hong. And finally, to short track, track speed skating, outstanding performances by Korean skaters at the World Cup Championships in the Netherlands. Yes, and perhaps you could say Kim Gilly was uh, South Korea's standout performer. She won gold in the women's 1500 meters with a time of 2 minutes 21.192 seconds, just 0.2 seconds ahead of second place. It was also her first ever individual gold medal. She also won silver in the 1,000 meters. Korea's other silver medal came in the men's 5,000 meter relay, and there could have been more, but Hwang Dae Hon and Pak Ji Won both collided in the 1,000 meters and 1,500 meters. All right, our sports editor, Paul Neath, thank you. See you next week. Thank you. See you.